and welcome back to the next section. We're making lots of progress. We have represented the majority of this data. And finally, we have few things left to do. We're going to represent this Q&A. So we'll take a look how to create a Strapi component in Strapi to do that. And we're also going to take a look at the sign up form to make sure that we could display this content. And when we create our blog post page, we'll come back and revisit this section. So now let's take a look at starting making our FAQ section. Our FAQ component is going to be very simple. It's just going to have a couple of our FAQ cards and each card is going to have a heading and text. So let's go ahead and start by making our FAQ card. Here we are in our Strapi admin. If we take a look at our content type builder, we already created a card component that has heading and text. So we could reuse this for our FAQs. So let's create a new component to display our FAQs. We're going to create new component. We're going to call it FAQs. And that's going to live in our blocks folder. Let's click continue. We're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to reuse our card component that we created. So click on component, use an existing component and select component. We're going to take a look at our components and let's select our card. And here we're going to call it FAQ. We're going to keep it repeatable component because we have multiple FAQs. So now let's go ahead, click finish. Now that we have our FAQ component, don't forget to save. Now we all know the drill. Let's go ahead to our landing page and we're going to add our new component that we just created. Click add component, use an existing component, and we're going to scroll down until we find our FAQs. Let's select it, click finish and save. Now let's navigate to our content manager to our landing page, and we're going to add our FAQs. I'm going to click Add Component. Now we have our FAQs available to us, and we're going to create a couple of FAQs. So I'm just going to type some. What is 2 plus 2? It's 4. And then let's add another one. Why are all you awesome? And that is because you just are, right? I mean, you are awesome. Now that we have our FAQs, we're going to click Publish. And we know the drill. After you create your FAQs, we need to make sure that we are able to access them in our API. To do that, we have to go ahead and update our middleware. So now in our Strapi code base, let's navigate to source. We're going to go ahead to our APIs. We're going to select our landing page. And here we already started working on our middleware where we're adding all of our populate logic for our landing page. So let's go ahead and open it. And we already have some logic from our previous components. And now we're going to add our new component that we created called blocks and it's FAQs. And we're going to open up the brackets and we want to populate all of our FAQ cards. So we're going to say, FAQ, because that's going to be a relation. We know all about it. And we're going to say true. Now that we have this in Postman, we're going to make a GET request to our API landing page endpoint. When we click send, we are going to get all of our data. And if we scroll down, we should now see our FAQs. So all the way here on the bottom. And here we could see our block FAQs. We see our ID, our heading and our text. Now that we're getting our FAQ data, let's move on and build out our next component. On our website, we have this form. So we want to allow the editor to easily be able to update the text in this form from this heading, this text, even from this placeholder text and the stay in touch button. So taking a look at this newsletter component, we could represent the data by here having a heading and having our text. Then we could have a placeholder and our label. So let's go ahead and do that in Strapi. In Strapi, navigating back to our content type builder, I'm going to create a new component. We're going to call it newsletter. 
it's going to live in our blocks. And let's go ahead and continue. For our heading, we're going to use the text short field. So I'm going to call it heading. Let's add another field. Let's select text again. We'll use some long text. This is going to represent this section here. And we are just going to call it text. Let's add another field. It's going to be text. It's going to be short text. And we're going to say placeholder. And this is going to represent this placeholder that you see here. So let's add another field. Again, we're going to use text, short text. And we're going to call this label. And this is going to represent our label button that you see here. And finally, we'll add another field. You might have different forms that you're going to reference. And so we're going to add another text field. Keep it short text. And we're going to call it form ID. Now let's click Finish. We have our newsletter component to represent our heading, text, placeholder, label, and form ID. And this is exactly the data that we have here. Our heading, our text, our placeholder text, and our label for this button. Nice. So now that we have this made, let's click Save. And now let's navigate to our Content Manager. And now let's navigate to our landing page. We know the drill. Let's add this new block that we created. So we're going to say use existing block. Let's scroll down and select a newsletter block. Click Finish. Click Save. Now that we have that component, let's navigate to our Content Manager. And we're going to go ahead to our landing page. Click Add Another Component. We're going to select our newsletter. And I'm going to go ahead, add my content for this newsletter. I'm going to say, stay updated with our team. I'm going to use this lorem ipsum. For placeholder, we're going to say example at email.com. Say submit. And form ID, it could be anything we want. For now, I'm just going to keep it blank. Um, we'll talk about this later when we're building out the front end. But for now, once we have this, let's go ahead and publish. And finally, we need to update our middleware to get this data. So back in our landing page, populate middleware, inside our populate, we're going to say blocks. And we call it newsletter. And we're just going to say true. Because this is all top level fields, no relationships, this is the easiest way to populate. And now let's navigate to our Postman. Let's rerun our query. Don't forget to restart your Strapi instance by running Yarn Develop before <laughs> trying the query. So let's try that one more time. Click Send. And now if I navigate all the way to the bottom, and here we could see that we have our Blocks newsletter component with all of our data. Nice. So now that all of the content for our landing page is being represented inside a Strapi, we'll come back to representing our blog articles once we complete the blog section. But in the next videos, I want to take a look on building a dynamic page. For instance, we have this About page that currently has this Person component. So we're going to take a look how we could create a very easy way to allow your user to create multiple pages from Strapi to represent their About page, or, or maybe they want to make a community page, pretty much any page that they want, they'll be able to easily build out based on the same blocks that we created to represent this home page. So with that being said, get a quick drink of water, tea, whatever you like, take a little break, and then I'll see you in the next section.